GetStaticProps is a built-in Next.js function that allows you to fetch data at fill time and pre-render pages with the fetch data. This function is primarily used for static site generation in Next.js. When you export GetStaticProps from a page in Next.js, it tells Next.js to pre-render this page with a specified data during the build process. This means that the data will be static and won't change on subsequent requests to the page. Now, let us dive into an example to demonstrate how GetStaticProps works. Imagine we are building a blog application using Next.js. We have a posts folder where we store our blog posts as markdown files. Each markdown file represents a blog post with its content and metadata, such as the title and publication date. Our goal is to fetch the blog post data during the build process and pre-render the individual blog post pages with the fetch data. First, let's create a pages directory in our Next.js project and create a file called slug.js. This file will represent our dynamic blog post page, where slug will be a placeholder for the actual blog post slug, e.g. post slash hello world. In this example, we have three functions, blog post, get static paths, and get static props. Let's break them down. The blog post component represents the individual blog post page. It receives the post object as a prop, which contains the data for the specific blog post. The get static paths function is responsible for providing Next.js with the list of all possible paths for the dynamic blog post pages. In this case, we manually define an array of slugs. However, in a real application, you would fetch the slugs from your data source, for example, an API or file system. The getStaticProps function fetches the data for a specific blog post based on the provided slug. In this example, we assume there's a function called fetchPostBySlug that retrieves the post data. You would need to implement this function to fetch the data from your data source. Now, let's summarize the flow. During the build process, Next.js calls getStaticPaths to get the list of possible paths for the dynamic blog post pages. Next, it calls getStaticProps for each path returned by getStaticPaths passing the corresponding params, for example, slug hello world. This fetches the data for each blog post. The fetch data is then passed as props to the blog post component, which is rendered and pre-rendered as static HTML during the build process. Finally, when a user visits a blog post page, Next.js already has the pre-rendered static HTML, so it can instantly serve the page without waiting for data fetching. Note the fallback true option in get static paths. This allows Next.js to generate the requested page on demand if it hasn't been pre-rendered during the build process. When a user visits a page that hasn't been pre-rendered, Next.js will fetch the data and generate the HTML for that page dynamically. That's it. You have now learned how to use GetStaticProps in Next.js with a practical example. This technique enables efficient data fetching and pre-rendering, resulting in improved performance and user experience. Feel free to explore Next.js documentation for more advanced use cases and options available with GetStaticProps.